in person or online. It's the question many school leaders are working to answer right now. And for some districts, those plans are really pretty fluid. District leaders are monitoring the severity of COVID-19 cases across the KC area. Lindsay, I spoke to KC Girls Preparatory Academy and their plans to safely reopen. Kansas City Girls Preparatory Academy is new, brand new. The first all-girls charter school opened its doors just last fall. Then the pandemic hit. It's been definitely a roller coaster ride, I'll tell you that. Well, the building sits quiet, cubbies empty, and chairs stacked. They're preparing for their second school year a little differently. We are truly reimagining learning. Instead of in-person teaching, it'll be 100% virtual with the goal of connection and intention. We call it prides or similar to advisory time where kids actually have one mentor and every single morning they have a check-in with that mentor. Once cases decrease, they'll go to a 100% in-person model. But as cases currently continue to rise, that'll take time. With the, the rise of COVID-19 cases, not only in Kansas City, but in the areas that our girls live in, we could not responsibly bring them in safely to school in person. The school sits on the east side of the city, third district, showing the highest number of COVID-19 cases out of all six districts. In Missouri, black people make up 12% of the population, but make up 29% of positive COVID-19 cases and 35% of deaths in the state. That number alone is upsetting and it's disheartening because it's impacting, as I shared with some, it's impacting my children. It's impacting my families. We made a commitment to support them. As students navigate online learning, while the teaching method is different, the curriculum is still the same and having support through these times. Whether that be the uh, COVID pandemic or what I would like to call the racial pandemic as well, because we need to make sure our girls are prepared to respond and, and figure out how they navigate both for themselves. Bouncing back from pandemics and racial disparities, using their voice that'll soon echo through the hallways again. And while this wasn't quite the first year these school leaders had in mind, Principal Tara Haskins calls it life changing pops in my mind, changing the world, whether in person or through a screen. And I say that with much love. They are going to, I've watched them grow into the most incredible young women. And I'm honored that, I'm honored that families chose us as a place to continue to nurture their child's voice. And I'm honored that a community has welcomed us and that they continue to trust us and give us grace. In an effort to building that community engagement, Casey Girls Preparatory Academy has what's called Sisterhood Saturdays. They build connections virtually on the weekends in an effort to still bring girls together in a unique way.